I'm going to start with the one behind me, the Amrita Shagal, painted in 1938 in their family estate in Saraya. This painting today holds the world record for Amrita Shagal, and it's a very special painting. In fact, Amrita herself chose 12 of her most important works that she wanted to put into a publication. This, in the ladies' enclosure, was one of them. We can see in this painting how Amrita's influence of India and Indian art with miniatures and the colors around her are represented in this painting. This is truly one of the masterpieces of Amrita's. In her life, she's only really painted about 172 works and out of which 93 are in the National Gallery of Modern Art. This is probably one of the last few special paintings left in private hands. The second is a beautiful, magnificent blue painting by V.S. Gaitonde. Gaitonde was the master of abstraction and this particular painting holds the world record of any Indian art sold worldwide. The painting is important not only because of its scale but also the way Gaitonde with minimal strokes has applied color and bands which make you float although like a horizon or a cityscape. And then you have this hovering red dot on the side which kind of provides a counterbalance to an illusionary horizon that Gaitonde had in his mind. Gaitonde called this kind of painting not abstraction but non-objectivism where he left the viewer actually discover the painting through the texture, the color and the time, time consuming process that he used in creating a work. The third one is a painting by Akbar Padamsi, a monumental work called Greek Landscape, painted in 1960. This particular work, just with its sheer scale and monochromatic tone, creates a sense of an imaginary, illusionary city. Of course, it's titled Greek Landscape and it might have tones of a Mediterranean landscape, but in, 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 in many ways, the way the color is applied, the spaces and the voids with minimal application of any color kind of makes the viewer dream as to what is this surreal landscape that Akbar has painted. This painting also, till date, holds the world record for the most expensive painting ever sold worldwide of Akbar Padamsi. Another monumental work by Tayyab Mehta called Kali. Of course, Kali is a revered goddess that destroys evil but has the ferocity in her um, and in many ways Tayyip captures this with a very simple motif. You can see the red tongue of Kali which shows that ferocity. At the same time you can see the nurturing aspect of Kali with the hand on the belly protecting what we would call rebirth or birth. The fifth painting is a painting by M.F. Hussein titled The Battle of Ganga and Jamuna. Again, this is a large scale painting, a diptych, which is actually two halves which are joined together, making one whole. And the halves in some way represent the dichotomy of the human condition, with representations from the Mahabharat, the concept of good over evil, and in some ways the application of texture and the format of the paint itself kind of projects that struggle that an individual has with himself in the outside world. 